good with throwing it over the fence. Uh, I'm missing it this time. I'll tell you that right now. now that's Mercedes. Yep. That's that Mercedes part, dude. This part right here has just been a little troublemaker, but you know what? It's damaged also. <laughs> it is damaged, but that's a high strength steel piece. They told us that it was damaged. They're like, we don't want to send it, but I was like, send it anyways what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are here at the goon squad garage and we are finally back on the g63 project after finally receiving this part right here that's been stopping us from building or fixing this sucker up right here and it is finally in our hands it probably traveled around the whole entire world i mean this sucker got attempted to be shipped to us a couple times it got shipped back and now we finally got this sucker right here. And this is the header panel that goes right across the top right there. And this is exactly what we need to keep going and get this sucker basically completed. And what is that? Send to BMW for shipping? That's why it took so long. Dude, what if this is a BMW part? Oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. But it looks to be exactly the same. So that's good. I mean, that one's missing, but I mean, I know what they're supposed to look like, bit. I guess. And then there's another one right here. This is basically the rear roof rail. So right now, basically what we're gonna do is go ahead, probably remove the old one that's still in there. We still got the tips of the left and the right side that's in there. We probably gotta grind it out, pop those suckers out. And then V-Tune's supposed to be out here as well today. We'll probably arrive a little bit later, but we got a little bit of prep work that we can do. And then we're gonna probably finish up all the framework on this sucker and eventually test fit that roof and maybe get it on for good. Since y'all are all out here, why don't y'all help us put this thing together? Yeah. <laughs> Too much. We've got the fire department out here. What, what, what's going on? This thing is fire. <laughs> <laughs> and we got V-tuned out here. What's happening, dude? Let's get to work. Dude, we finally got that part right there in. And you already noticed something. It's not really wanting to fit up into places. Yeah, basically, we just got to pull this area a little bit more. Pull it out, probably weld that spot, weld that broken. We should fit in there. Yes, perfect. sir, dude. And today, we might even get the roof on for good as well, right? We should be able to get all the new parts on here today. Oh, dude, that's exciting. And we got this whole entire side. We literally got everything to finish up the framework. So I'm excited. I say we just don't waste any more time. Let's get it, man. Let's do it.
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and we still haven't test fitted our roof out, but you know what? We are trying to get this 100% perfect because this is the most important part right here, lining everything up. And of course we're doing some more framework. And it's definitely a little bit more complicated than we thought because the way that this wreck occurred, kind of like threw everything off from this side to that side. But you know what? We're moving slowly but surely and we're test fitting panels. And basically that's the whole process right now is test fitting everything. And before we weld anything in for good, we gotta just make sure everything is pretty much just held on with either tack welds or vice grips. We gotta throw on this upper section right here. We gotta throw in this whole entire skin section right there and the roof and on that side as well. And then we gotta make sure everything's lined up and then we're gonna fully weld stuff in. So we still got a good bit of work on our hands, but you know what? We're getting there. Also, we did do a little bit of welding on these inner structure panels because some of the tacks or some of the spot welds actually broke. So we kind of just pulled it back into place and welded those suckers up. And also for this inner structure piece, we bought it, but after looking at it, we're actually not gonna have to replace that, which is gonna save us a lot of work. But I guess right now, what we're gonna do is actually move on to removing the rest of the old roof. There's still a little bit of it left up there. We just gotta actually grind some of that out. It's probably the most difficult part, remove that test fit the roof or actually first we got to test fit this panel right here before we can put the roof on top of that so oh, we still got to splice some things in it's just this sucker is just all over the place honestly but that's just how these things are built right here, yeah dude. they're built crazy i mean the way this frame is it's a it's a stout frame it's all steel it's not like yep. aluminum frames we're used to so we're gonna have to like be very careful with this exactly so let's just go ahead and keep on moving and hopefully see how some stuff fits up guys check this out we finally slapped on the roof to test fit that sucker and it looks absolutely amazing i mean that sucker fit up just about dang near perfect and also the rest of the body panels that were damaged are test fitted as well v -tune just came out for a couple hours it is saturday and he went absolute ham let me just go ahead and hop down and get v -tune's thoughts what do you think of this one dude i gotta say this one was a really tough one i mean for the first test fit i am really surprised of how everything fit together we did have a little bit of stuff we had to tweak up there we couldn't get the gaps yep. right but then after we readjusted a bunch of stuff we got it fitting up and man it's looking good the door dude. gaps look 
um, they're almost there, you know, it's not 100% just yet. Obviously, once we do do all of our final cuts right here, we'll push everything together and the gaps will get much better. But I am really loving how it's coming together. Yes, sir. But this one definitely was, you even mentioned it yourself, it's tougher than the Euros. And the Euros was by far the toughest framework that we did. Oh, but yeah. you know what I love about this one right here? It's so easy to put back together. The Euros was a little bit of a nightmare. So I'll take this little bit oh, extra yeah. Mercedes. framework. Mercedes is a, it's a, I like the Mercedes brand. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I mean, you, you guys know what these things are capable of some people destroy them <laughs> we're out here fixing them right here but look at this you test fitted this side as well the door as well as this rocker panel area and oh my goodness dude everything is freaking oh, on yeah. point everything man. is looking pretty good except for this door it is going to get bent back in the shape up there because yeah. when everything went over you know it just pushed it out a little bit but it should be pretty simple yeah just to push it back in the that's the only thing that corner of that door which we're hoping to save that which like you said you could easily just pull it probably do a little bit of framework i guess how can we put that so well i was pull? thinking maybe just uh roll down this window and you just hook a strap up to it and you just open it and it will just bend that okay. back into place we'll give it a shot also in the back over here there's still a little bit of damage as well like that little lip area for the roof it's a little bit bent down but that should be a super simple repair i believe so yeah i'm thinking we just push this up lightly right here straighten it out as good as possible and maybe we won't have to replace it. I, I think we won't have to if we just do a little bit of finesse yeah. work, a little bit of metal work, and then obviously have a couple of dents right here. But even the gaps on the rear uh, trunk lid, it looks really good. Yes, Nothing's sir. Nothing's too big, nothing's too small. Dang, I mean, dude, it. that is solid, dude. I love seeing this sucker come together so fast. The hardest part was getting that frame pulled, but now that we got it pulled, literally everything is gonna be so freaking easy, dude. Yeah, we're just gonna take our time, make sure everything is right. Whenever we do start welding everything, we definitely wanna make sure everything is coated good, make sure all the cuts are right, just, you know, cause you don't, you never wanna rush framework, cause like once you weld it up, that's it. You, you, know, you can't, can't reverse work. it, yep, exactly. Yeah. Like if you weld this up, wrong the only thing you're gonna be able to do is cut it off and you're just gonna have to buy a whole new piece so we're definitely gonna take our time and try to do the best job possible this is a g-wagon you know this is a it's a pretty expensive nice one right here yes, sir. <laughs> but you know what guys i'm happy with how everything is moving so far as of right now i think v tune's gonna call it a day or i'll move on to something else Phenomenal. Oh, what was that? Glass. He fixed it. Look at that. 
He fixed it. <laughs> new door. Yeah. Who wanted a new door? Raise your hand if you wanted a new door. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we moved on to welding in our very first damaged body panel for good. And we're just looking at how everything test fitted up. And oh my goodness, it is perfect. The gap up top V-tuned, even straightened out the top of that door. We thought we were gonna have to put some uh, hydraulics to it, but I guess V-tuned's got built-in <laughs> hydraulics, dude. Yeah, basically just grabbed the top of the door, bent it in, and it looks good. It closes dude, good. looks so good. All the way around, it is just a perfect gap. And also this piece right here, of course, we reinforced it with the uh, piece on the inside, yeah, right? Yeah, a little backing plate just so we backing can weld it real nice and solid. Looks dude, good. Dude, it looks super clean right there. Look That's up top solid. right there. With a little skim coat of bodywork, dude. Dude, there ain't nothing, that much man. Body work on this thing. <laughs> Look at on the inside right here. Beautiful. We just got to grind all those spot welds down. A little bit of bodywork up there. A little bit of bodywork down there. And look how good this door closes, dude. Perfect. Like a G-Wagon. You got to slam them all, but you know what? That is beautiful right there. I guess next thing is to probably move on to that side over there. Yeah, right? basically we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side. We need to go ahead and replace that entire piece that goes all the way through. And then we can start working on the roof after we do that. Dude, let's keep on moving. There you have it guys, we finally finished up this whole entire side. Probably the most difficult side because of how large this entire like replacement piece was. It was this all the way to the back and it was two brand new pieces spliced together because we bought them in separate sections right there and it's all welded up, it's all aligned. I mean, it took forever. We threw the doors off and on on this thing probably like a hundred times to make sure everything lines up and it is solid, it is done. Now it is time to move on to the probably the last final major step and that's the roof in the windshield frame we're gonna go ahead and prep all that stuff throw it on there and we're gonna use this big bad boy right here to pinch weld the whole entire thing and have that thing finished up the framework a hundred percent yes sir not only are we gonna pinch weld but we're also gonna glue it using structural adhesive right yeah the structural panel bond and i think it's gonna be good to go yes sir and also we're gonna probably do a couple uh spot welds with the welder yeah, we'll probably do like four or five spot welds with the actual welder and then a little bit of adhesive and that right there and it's gonna be yes, good sir dude let's go ahead and knock out this last major step right here to this framework Wrap this sucker up, dude. Finish the framework.
And there you have it guys, the framework is officially 100% complete after installing the last panel, the roof, and it's on there for good. And I gotta say, that was the toughest panel we've ever replaced on any car. It used like three to 400 spot welds with this machine that'll put some hair on your chest because it's about 80 pounds. We had to take turns holding <laughs> it up super high, but it managed the whole job. I think that's it, man. It did this job and we're gonna retire that thing. And that's it, man. Look at that. We did a bunch of panel bond as well. We did even some uh, pop rivets in there. And also we're gonna do some spot welds in some areas, but we're gonna wait for that panel bond to dry. But that's it, man. This thing is complete. The shell is complete. There's gonna be tons of grinding, tons of body work. But hey, dude, this is the fast part, man. Getting it inside that paint booth as soon as possible. 100%, dude. This right here was super difficult. The rest of it should be a walk in the park. Yeah. Should be super easy, yeah. dude. And in the next video, we're possibly going to have this thing on all fours and off of the frame machine, which is going to be a major step. And that's all going to be in the next video, guys. So be sure to drop all your comments and thoughts down below. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.